Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my Valentine's Day decor tour. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off right at my front door. And on the inside of the door and the outside of the door, we have the same wreath. And they're just from Walmart, just like a tinsel wreath. And on the doorknob, I have this um, heart and it has bells on it. So they very jingly when you open, close the door. And beside the door on the key ring, I just have this little plush heart. I think it's actually supposed to hang on like a doorknob, but I just hung it there. And please don't mind, in a few places we don't have light switch covers on because we um, threw them out when we were painting because they were in quite bad shape and we just haven't managed to get them yet. So, so I will be replacing those soon. Okay, so right down the hallway beside the front door, we have a wreath on the bathroom door. And it's the same basically as the one on the front door, except it doesn't have the white, it's just red. And then we have two of these um, little wall hangings that are from Dollarama. So that's what I have here. So next I'm going to be going into my living room dining room area and that's where I have most of my Valentine's Day decorations. I really don't have that much as I do for other holidays. So I mostly just keep it to the living room dining room area. There's just an overview. So on this couch here I have four of these heart pillows and they are from Dollarama. And then this little stuffed dog that I've had for years. And then on the end table beside, it's a little dark over here, sorry. I have this little owl welcome sign and I just put a Valentine's Day headband on him. So I just thought that was cute. On my other couch, I have two of these heart-shaped pillows and those were from Shoppers Drug Mart. And then on the coffee table, I actually have this runner that I made sort of. It's just two placemats side by side. Then I have this heart-shaped basket. And those were all from Dollarama. And I use this heart-shaped basket to put my remotes in. And I also have this giant pen that I got in the Valentine's Day section at Walmart actually today. And I got that for work because people are always stealing my pen at work. So I thought it's going to be a little bit hard for them to steal this one. We'll see what happens. Okay, so on each side of my TV I have another one of those wreaths. And they are either from Walmart or Dollarama. And then I have these LED candles, and those were each from Dollarama. And on my fireplace, I have a strand of heart-shaped lights, and those are from Target. And I also have this heart garland. That is from Dollarama, and I actually saw the exact same one at Michael's, and it was like 6 or $7, and the one from Dollarama was only $2. So then on top of my fireplace, I have two of these little wooden plaques. This first one, XOXO, is from Target last year. And the one over here, this is Happy Valentine's Day, is from Target this year. And those were both a dollar from the dollar spot. So this is the first year that I did a Valentine's Day tree. So here it is. I got this tree on clearance after Christmas for only $12.50. And I got a bunch of the heart ornaments at Target. These ones here, they were 50 cents for, I think, six of them. So I got four packs of those for only 50 cents each. And they were in the Christmas clearance section. And then I got these big hearts from Dollarama. Those were $2 each. Back up a little bit. Sorry. This room's very small, so it's hard to get, like, full picture. So here it is again. And I just have some red garland that was from Valentine's Day a few years ago. So then as my tree topper, I actually use one of these heart-shaped in, like, a balloon weight. And... It just worked out perfectly. It actually has like a heavy base on the bottom, but I just wrapped the white top of the tree around that. So that worked really great. And I think it looks great. I'm saying great a lot in this video. So again, there's just another clip of my tree. I absolutely love it. I'd really like to get some sort of tree skirt for it. I was thinking of just getting some red fabric, but I'll probably just get that next year. Okay, so here's my dining room. On the back of each chair, I have a red heart, and those are all from Dollarama. Then on my table, I have these placemats. Those are from Target last year. Then I have the salt and pepper shaker and plate, and that's from Target last year. And then my napkin holder is filled with napkins that I got at Dollarama. Just to show you this quick, it's another one of those doorknob hangers from Dollarama on my patio door. And on my hutch here, I have some red roses. Well, they're faux red roses a vase and a little pink porcupine that I got many years ago when I was a child. I got two more of these LED candles. I just think they're really cute. And they're only $1.25 each, which I thought was a great deal. 
Then I have this runner that I got at HomeSense a few years ago. And then I have another set of those lights that I got from Target last year. And then on my shelf here, I just have these five boxes of these Sweetheart stuffed toys. And they were just from McDonald's. They were selling them as um, their Happy Meal toys. And I actually just went in and bought a few because I just thought they were adorable. So there they are. Okay, so as you go into my kitchen, you can see here on my fridge, I have a bunch of those refrigerator magnets from, I think I got them at Dollarama. Then on my stove, I have these tea towels or dish towels, and those were from Target this year. I also have a red vase, and I'm just using that to hold um, some of the utensils, like the larger cooking utensils. I have this Happy Valentine's Day sign over my sink. I got a bunch of paper straws at the Target dollar spot, and they're just in a cup there. And then I have a container of these jelly hearts. And then on my mug holder, I have these glass mugs with a red base that I actually got for Christmas clearance. And then I have two large mugs that were from Shoppers Drug Mart. They both have a ladybug in the shape of a heart. And lastly, it's not a decoration, it's a food item, but I have these Valentine's Day cookies. They're Loft House cookies. The tag is ripped off there, but they are really good, and I just think they're adorable. Okay, and I also wanted to show that I had some of my salt and pepper shakers on display. And I have this cute pair of salt and pepper shakers. They're pugs and they're kissing. And I got those from another YouTuber. She's Tammy Dunn. Her, her channel is Tammy Dunn. She sent those to me because she knew I love salt and pepper shakers. So thank you so much, Tammy, for sending them to me. I think they go great also with Valentine's Day because they're well, kissing, of course. Right now in this house, because we got rid of our hutch in our kitchen, I don't have anywhere to display my salt and pepper shaker, so I just put out a few at a time. So I just think those are adorable. So thanks again, Tammy. So that's all for my Valentine's Day decor tour, guys. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.